action hi students today we will demonstrate you one analytical instrument named ultraviolet visible spectrophotometer in other word it can uh, you can say that this is ultraviolet spec ultraviolet visible spectrophotometer or ultraviolet spectrometer short form this is uvv spectrometer what is uvv spectrometer this is actually a very well known analytical instrument by using this we can determine the unknown concentration of a substance in solvent we will explain with me one madira is here she will explain in this uh, how to conduct uh, this how to take the readings absorbance value versus wavelength value let me explain first what is uvs actually uvs that is refers to the quantitative measurement of the reflection or transmittance properties of ultraviolet visible spectral region by using this instrument we can determine the amount of ultraviolet and visible lights which has been absorbed by a substance in solvent so the light source into two different way one passes through the sample sample and another light passes through the through the reference solution reference solution here we will use water so that is why actually here is a two two compartment i uh, please come here and show the uh, compartments so here is the two compartments one will put this this is calling cuvettes cuvettes one is reference solution we will put here and another one we will put here that this that is the two two light sources here is the monochromator is there and light sources that is the tungsten light sources throw that monochromator the light first the transmitted light in, enter into the beam and then from that beam it is split in two part through that uh, cuvettes the light source enter to the detector and detector it convert into the the signal electrical signal that electrical signal we can use and we can get the absorbance value so in uvv spectrometer as i told we will use here double beam spectrometer so definitely we have to prepare some samples of known solutions of known concentrations and one is reference vibration curve that is the very important once to know the calibration curve and i already explain initially you have to prepare the standard solution then by using this standard solution you will prepare different concentration of samples now i hand over to poor nadira she will show you that how to get how to get the absorbance value by using a spectrometer again i am telling each time when you take the sample be careful the cuvettes you have to hold when the the scratch side only the the smooth side you have to put a smooth side one is light source and another smooth side to the detector side that is the very important so a smooth side you don't no need to touch different concentration okay first you put on the blank Zero. Make sure it is zero. Okay. You key in your concentration for the first sample. Okay. 
first sample will be 10 ppm. Okay. You wipe on the clear side. First, take off the cuvette. The second cuvette will be your preference. This is the first sample. Cross the lid and then measure sample. Okay. For the second sample will be 30 ppm. Get the linear equation. Regression value will be lower and lower. It should be regression R square value. It should be near the one as I thought. Okay, so we see how much we get. You wipe on the every, clear every side. time you have to yeah. wipe it up on the smooth side yes. and put the direction one is the light source direction another one is to detect uh, detector actually the detector that is the transmitted lines convert to electrical signal which is absorbance value we are getting So what is the regression value one we got? Yeah, regression see here, correlation coefficient we got 0.65. Definitely, you know, maybe due to our, as I told that uh, when we prepare this solution, maybe not too accurate. Probably or probably maybe the, this one is not, a cuvette's not clean. Yeah. Clean, we have to, several times we have to, uh, you know, rinse it. So maybe due to that there is a uh, experimental error, but this is the actually procedure and I expect from you that when you prepare, main thing you prepare the solution from stock solution carefully and every time the cuvettes must be, you know, clean several times. So see, okay, how about experimental error this may occur, but as I told you have to repeat the several times, make sure that the linear equation the value we got closer to one maybe 0 0.8 0 0.9 it is expected but in our case we got just now 0 0.6 uh, 0 0.65 as i told that this is the uh, experimental error so this is actually we wanted to show you well, can you show the results again because we have to okay these results i will uh, i will give you to, uh, i'll give it to you um, 8. Point 0.9 it is expected but in our case we got just now 0 0.6 uh, 0 0.65 as I told that this is the experimental error so this is actually we wanted to show you well, can you show the results again because we have to okay these results I will uh, I will give you to, uh, I'll give it to you um, but since as I told that there is a uh, actually this is our experimental already done as I, uh, this is actually using five different solution now you will plot the cali standard calibration curve the absorbance value you have already so by on the y axis y axis you will put the absorbance value and the x axis that is the concentration so y axis versus co uh, absorbance versus concentration then you will get the linear equation linear equation 
So that is the x value, x we will use as a concentration. So after getting the linear equation by applying uh, a standard calibration curve, then you will know the concentration of the solution of, the, of that substance uh, concentration you can calculate once you plot the standard calibration curve. Okay, however, so actually this is the things we wanted to show. Maybe as first time <laughs> now we got the regression value not closer to one, maybe definitely when you do, uh, you will get that. So uh, actually this is the things we wanted to show. Maybe as first time <laughs> now we got the regression value not closer to one, maybe definitely when you do, uh, you will get that. So uh, that's all actually we wanted to share. So I will give you the absorbance concentration value. You will plot the curve and get the concentration of unknown uh, substances in that solution. And definitely at the end, you have to calculate the absorbance coefficient also, alpha value. So that's all I wanted to share with you. So Puan Nadira, would you like to say anything to the student? Any tips? The tips is uh, you have to make sure your solution is prepared uh, carefully because uh, you have to prepare accurately according to what the uh, doctor said just now. That's it. And another thing, when you put the cuvettes in the, in the compartment, the cuvettes must before taking the sol uh, 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 sample uh, solutions, you have to rinse it several times and hold the on the scratch side only. Don't uh, don't touch on the uh, on the smooth side. Before putting the compartment, you may clean that one. Okay, so that's all, students. That's one I we wanted to share. Okay, goodbye. Bye. Okay, that's all.